The 28th Amendment should be to limit the number of terms that Congress can hold. America has been dealing with the same problems for years and years and years, and it's because we keep the same people in power for way too long. The average term length for a U.S. member of Congress is 12 years, but the longest term served is 57 years for one person. And that just shows how we need new people and new ideas to represent our government in order to solve these issues. Another reason that we should have term limits is because of the 22nd Amendment that limits the President's power. The 22nd Amendment sets term limits for the President and the executive branch of the government. And it only makes sense to have these term limits in the legislative branch as well. Some people may argue that by having term limits for Congress, we were, we're going to lose good politicians in our government. And yes, it's true that we're going to lose them in the congressional aspect of things, but they can still have political power and share their ideas in other ways other than just by being a part of Congress. Other people argue that we can just re-elect new people into Congress. And yes, we can re-elect new people with the elections, except that these new electives that want to become part of Congress only have a 10% chance of making it in because of the relationships and all of the money that the current members of Congress already have. A last argument that people have against term limits is that it's unconstitutional. And obviously this isn't the case because the 22nd Amendment was passed that limits the number of terms the president can have. Overall, by having term limits for Congress, it'll promote fairness and equality in our nation, and it'll encourage new people and competitive ideas into our government. Uh, the 28th Amendment should not be an amendment itself, but should be a change to the 5th Amendment in which the Double Jeopardy Clause should be abolished. Uh, I believe this should, the Double Jeopardy Clause should be abolished because in the criminal justice unit, I believe there should be more than one chance to give justice, to hand out justice to those responsible. Um, another example would be that evidence you, know, you see in different types of crimes, that evidence comes and goes. Like it's, it's, it takes a while to gather the evidence, so you can't have a drawn out process of a trial because that's just not, that's unconstitutional to draw out a process in a trial. And uh, another reason is it, just a pretty self-explanatory reason of everyone deserves a second chance. You know, it's, people make mistakes in a, in a criminal justice system, criminal and civil justice system, people make mistakes. Mistakes are bound to be happening when it's such a high tense environment. And uh, another reason is states will support this. Uh, Arkansas, in fact, had went to the Supreme Court about abolishing the amendment based on a trial that con tried to convict a man of murdering a child, but that's, that's another story really. Um, people who will oppose it really is people who will not, people that will not uh, enjoy being, spending so much money per se on more than one trial. They think one and done. Uh, the money spent is, you know, whether you want to or not, so that's really not up to the person yourself. It is up to the person how much you want to spend, but other than that, uh, it should be passed because uh, Double Jeopardy will give those responsible um, justice, will bring justice to those responsible, and it will create a more relaxed environment uh, to the court system because uh, the court system because it will uh, give people more chances in the future. My, I believe that religion in public schools such as prayer and open discussion about religion should be completely legal and even promoted. Most people and religions in general will promote at least one prayer every day, while some religions will pray more often, such as Muslims who will pray at least five times a day, and Christians and Catholics who will pray before meals and before going to bed at night. I think a lot of people, such as parents and religious leaders, would promote this because it's allowing our generation and future generations to have their own opinions about religion. 
and it allows them to practice freely. However, there are some people that would object to this, and one prime example are atheists. They, they generally don't like religion at all and don't even entertain the possibility of discussing religion in a public school. While that may be true and a good point, you can't stop people from really discussing their religions and the discussion will almost always happen. The only thing you could do is is possibly limit where the religious activities are taking place, like pray, and, pray during passing time or during or in a private room before school. I believe that the 28th Amendment should be to legalize gay marriage. With the legalization of gay marriage, the United States will finally offer and provide equal rights for all of its citizens, no matter their sexuality. For one, depriving citizens of gay marriage goes against the First Amendment, the Ninth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment, which grants all citizens their basic rights as human beings. Um, yeah. um, it is a civil and religious matter, and it's not something that the government should have a say in. Um, gay marriage is freedom of speech and practice, and if gender and race don't matter anymore, why should sexuality? Um, not only will gays benefit tremendously from this, but the government will too. The state and local governments will benefit by the purchase of licenses and um, other documents like that, such as taxes on homes, etc. Gays will benefit by being able to express their happiness. The Constitution mentions their goals to protect life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, but if gays are denied the right to gay marriage, how are any of these being addressed? Their life isn't satisfying and they're not being able to express their happiness openly. Um, there are over 1,000 benefits that gays will be introduced to. And without this privilege, it's an unconstitutional discrimination towards gays. Um, times have changed. This is the 21st century. The Constitution was drafted over 200 years ago. Um, t many things have changed. We've already amended this document 17 times, so why not do it again to guarantee gays' rights like everyone else? Traditional Americans may oppose this amendment, but change is healthy, and gays should be granted the right to gay marriage. I believe that the 28th Amendment should be added to the Constitution, providing citizens welfare only if they, if they test negative on a mandatory drug test. Welfare is a government aid that is provided to citizens who have little to no income or the elder, elderly, including the working poor. There are three main issues concluding in this topic, people are only using this money to live off of. They use the $1,000 check they receive every month as their main source of income. This provides a problem because many citizens are becoming extremely dependent on the welfare. They have no desire to go out and find another source. Another issue concerning this topic would be increasing the national debt. The government weighs a huge amount of money when it comes to this issue. $131.9 billion every year is spent from the government on welfare, and that's not including food stamps and unemployment. That's a ridiculous amount of money that is being wasted. It emphasizes how much money is being wasted overall, and this concludes to adding, our, adding to our national debt. Another problem with welfare and citizens taking advantage of it is that the people using the welfare are purchasing non-necessity things. They're not using this income to support themselves and to get their basic needs in life. Material items are being bought and a large amount of the people on welfare, on welfare are using it to pay for drugs. The only people that would be opposing this amendment would be the people who are using welfare in a non-beneficial way. Everyone that pays taxes puts money towards um, welfare, 
which th which would help them out in that they wouldn't be wasting their money and giving their money to people who don't use it effectively. With this amendment, the people who deserve welfare would get it who really deserve it and who truly need it, not the ones who that not the ones who waste it. Okay, my name is Paul Pooper and my amendment is changing the drinking age to 18. And we should support it because if you're eight when you're 18, you're pretty much considered an adult and well, I mean, you can, if you can defend your country and go kill people or be killed, why can't you have a drink? Or you can, if you can vote and perform a jury duty, you, why, why shouldn't you just go to a bar and enjoy yourself? And I, it is my belief that if, if we change the drinking age to 18, the younger population, like 18 to mid 20s would participate in more civil duties and um, I think that the older people like the 60s or 80s would oppose it because they don't want no young hooligans causing mayhem around their their uh, their place and um, yeah and those are my facts. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Uh, my name is Alex Mustakis, and my amendment is that 50% of the people's vote should outrule the federal vote. Um, we should have this amendment because ultimately, I believe that uh, the states, the people, should be able to govern themselves. I mean. We have a select few of people in the federal uh, place that, like, they, yeah, we elect them, but ultimately, if the people think something should be uh, legal and the federal people don't, why should the federal people have uh, power over the states? Um, that's the whole idea behind uh, why the people should be able to outvote the feds. Um, Another main reason is just like, it's common sense. I mean, the people, it's their country. They should be able to govern it. They should be able to have the laws. Why should, again, a few select people that they vote into Congress have the authority over them? Um, the, there's a couple of examples like the prohibition of alcohol. The Federals, they tried to shut down alcohol to the people and ultimately it, it ended up being one of the worst things they could ever do because everything got worse. I mean, the crime got worse. Everyone, everyone drank anyway. I mean, it, it didn't really help at all. So it's just like the people, again, they wanted to drink so they went ahead and did it. They Federals saw that it was a bad decision, decision so they did that over.